Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. This is Pope TV. And please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Good morning, Pope High School, and welcome to the Greyhound News Network. I'm Kyla. And I'm Sam. And this is Pope TV. The Pope Winter Guard scores first place in their division at Harrison High School and got the highest score out of all the high school guards competing. Go Guard! Attention Flop Club members, please join us today for the Mardi Gras celebration in the cafeteria after school. We will make masks, eat Mark King cake, and listen to French music. Flop Club members may come for free. All their students have to pay $5. Pope Optagon Club is collecting food and drink items for the Eggleston Children's Feed the Heart program. Families with children in the cardiac unit may stay in the hospital for days, weeks, even months at a time. The Feed the Heart program provides food to these families so that they can stay with their loved ones. Please bring donations to Mrs. Dahlberg's room by Friday. And now to Nick and Ali with the sports. This is Nick and Ollie with the sports. Congratulations to the girls basketball team on their region runner-up finish on Saturday. The girls played this Saturday in the first round of the state playoffs at home against Akula. The boys will also be playing in the first round of the state playoffs on Saturday at Gainesville. A big congratulations to Max Drewhart, our new state champion in wrestling. On Saturday's state finals in Macon, Max was trailing with 15 seconds left in the match when he reversed his opponent from Dalton for two points and then captured the 113 pound state champion five to four. Patrick Haskin and Troy Gable placed six in the fin to finish out a successful season. Great job wrestlers. Congratulations to the varsity boys and girls tennis teams for the outstanding victory over Sequoia last Thursday. Cheer them on as they begin region play this week, weather permitting. Serve them fast and accurate ladies and gents. Oh, hey, I'm Ollie with the sports. When I'm hitting dingers with my boys on the baseball team, I'm watching Pope TV. Oh, yeah. Good luck to the ladies lacrosse team. They are playing Harrison on Thursday at home. The boys' lax team is playing Alatuna on Thursday. Good luck, bros. Congratulations to the boys' soccer team on their victory over Harrison 1-0 last week. The soccer teams play against Arch Enemy Lasser tonight, girls at 6, boys at 8, and on Friday, they play arch rival Walden at home. Congratulations to the baseball team on the 6-5 win over Hillgrove in the scrimmage last week. The season home opener is tomorrow night against Roswell. What better way to celebrate Valentine's Day than a game at Jeff Rowland Field? Game time is 5.55. This has been Nick Nolly in the morning. Back to, Back you, to guys. you guys. Thank you, guys. Send your Valentine a wonderful song and a flower to be delivered on Valentine's Day during 3rd through 6th period. Serenades are $10 each. See Miss Johns in room 501 or any other chorus student for details. Congratulations to Carlton Kell, Ada Burris, and Elizabeth Santee, who will be re representing Pope at the Georgia Music Educators Associated All-State Chorus this weekend in Athens. They will sing among the best high school chorus singers in the state. Hey teachers and staff, do you know a student athlete who needs to be deserved for what they're doing off the field? Well, former Georgia Bulldog Heinz Ward is looking for the most positive athletes from all across Georgia. The Positive Athlete Program recognizes these high character student athletes with corporately sponsored scholarships every spring. If you have a student in mind who deserves to be recognized, be sure to nominate them at positiveathletes.org before March 16th. The Model UN Club competed in the UGA Model UN Conference this past weekend. Once again, we had a great performance from our students. Lily Bell and Lauren Bingston brought home the top delegate award for their work in the committee, and the entire group of students won honor honorable mention for a small delegation as they represented the, na the nation of Mexico. Please congratulate the following students. William Johnston, Jake Duffy, Lily Bell, Lauren Bingston, Ariana Arzipur, Drew Hutchinson, Jenna Paramesh, and Manav Patel. So Dylan, here we're traveling for a uh, prom this year. My pen to Walton. Yeah, I've heard that too. It's okay, Daddy. It's not prom just to get. Should I get this one or should I get that one? Okay, should I get it in a two piece or a one piece? Five. One piece. Okay, blue? Yeah. Okay. Can 
Can I look at the bathroom? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just killed a prom today. Really? Me too. Yeah, I was in Savvy's class. Same, actually. Oh, no way? Yeah, who was it? Uh, she plays lag. She probably don't know her. Oh. Who did you ask? You also probably don't know her. Yeah. Dude, Derek, congrats nice on to the prom today, bro. Thanks, Hi. man. Yeah. Let's go, man. Hey, hey, Best hey nice work, bro. bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I like to do Yeah. <laughs> I challenge you to a duel! Bet. Winner gets to Zeta. Alright. Thank you for watching the Greyhound News Network. Have, Have a great, great day, Greyhounds. Greyhounds.